The Macallan is one of the leading single malts in the world. Third in terms of scale, but number one by value. Through its history, the Macallan has gone through different ownership. All of those respective owners really did focus on strong management of the company, but also more critically for us, an absolute focus on quality. Quality of ingredients and also in the quality of the casks that we source and have done for generations. In the 1920s, and specifically 1926, and the Macallan had a reputation already of being the single malt under demand by blenders or brokers that it holds today as well. Retaining that absolute focus on the best of the best. My name is Jeff Kirk, a member of the Prestige team for the Macallan Single Malt. My name is Jamie Ritchie, Worldwide Head of Wines and Spirits for Sotheby's. We are here today in the heart of the Macallan Estate in Spaceflight, inside the new Macallan Distillery building. We are in the Macallan Distillery because we are about to sell the world's most expensive bottle of wine or spirits, the Macallan 1926 Sir Peter Blake label. We're also offering an online only auction for the first time ever of the Macallan. This bottle and all the bottles in the online auction come from one collector uh, who's really a pioneer in his field. And he visited Macallan in 1987. And when he visited, he actually did taste the 1926. One of the few people who's actually tasted the 1926. The recent development of the new Macallan Distillery building was an opportunity to do something very special, very different within the single malt industry. The Macallan has existed since 1824 and before. It has gone through many changes. This is the latest of those. It is very new, very modern, probably not what a lot of people would expect, but we feel that's very reflective of the Macallan brand, really bringing single malt into the modern era. There are three things which make this bottle very special. The first is rarity, one of only 40 produced. The second is quality. This is widely recognized as one of the greatest whiskies ever made. And the third is the Peter Blake label, which brings it that sort of collector's niche combining art and whiskey. This whiskey itself has a fascinating history. Distilled in 1926 in the post-Great War era, it was an era of strong challenges for single malt scotch and it was the patience of our whiskey makers to carry this whiskey forward right through into 1986 when it was bottled, then the oldest ever bottled Macallan. That was when the brand started to advertise and work with different artists. So Peter Blake collaborated with Macallan over many years. This was one of their projects. He is the godfather of pop art with this label. He reflected on events from 1926, including the death of Rudolf Valentino, the attempted assassination of Mussolini, and also the uh, golfing achievements of Bobby Jones. I think the 1926 Macallan is the most legendary whisky in the world and would be the prize of any collection. If I think about the changes for the Macallan, some things have not changed at all. What has changed is the world outside. Uh, and the demand for spirits, the demand for single malt, and specifically the demand for the Macallan. That is because consumers love the whiskey, simply as that. 